All right, uh, this video is just to do an update for uh, the, the most current inflation numbers. So this updates to August 2021. Um, and so there is starting to be some concerns about inflation. The overall inflation, uh, the annual inflation rate right now is about 5.3% uh, as calculated through the CPI. And that is considered well above the target for the for the Federal Reserve. So that, that's, that's considered pretty high. Um, in addition, there's some big debate about this. So uh, I'll link an article below that talks about it a little bit there's there's a little debate uh, the, the the fed reserve chairman using this language about it being transitory i mean it's sort of a temporary situation that they expect to correct itself so they expect in a year or so uh, for the uh, inflation rates to start going down it's kind of a little bit of an it's a little bit of an open debate uh whether or not that's true so uh, no one knows for sure um and, and sort of whether that's true or not it, it would influence the actions that the Federal Reserve would potentially take. So we'll, we'll kind of, that'll make more sense, I think, as we go on through the course, uh, what that means. Um, so anyways, but uh, so because some of this is being driven uh, most likely by the the, the, huge, the stimulus and the loose uh, monetary policy, which we'll learn more about later in this course. So really low, uh, near basically 0% interest rate, um, so, and, as well as uh, a lot of money floating around. Um, but then part of this, so on that's like sort on the demand side, uh, but some of this is also coming from supply side issues. Uh, there's been significant interruptions in supply chains. Uh, one of the most uh, kind of widely publicized one that you've probably heard about is about the computer chips related to car manufacturers, um, but there's many supply chain interruptions in other uh, parts of the economy. Some, some is, is some sh shortages of key components, uh, and the other one, there's some big backups in shipping. Um, so uh, anyways, Let's look at some of these scatters. So, so energy by far is a big part of this. Uh, so energy prices are up 25% overall. Okay. Uh, and I believe some specific ones, let's go down to this uh, energy commodities go. So uh, gasoline is up 42.7%. Um, some other ones are up a little bit less, but, but uh, yeah, energy is a big deal here is a big part of this. Um, so the, and you probably noticed the huge increase in the price of gasoline. Uh, food is less so. Uh, I think some people might find this a little surprising. They might have affected, expected it to be more. O overall, it's three point seven percent. Let's click on it. Uh, so we have two parts: food at home, food away from home. So last year, if you looked at the other video last year, the food at home was uh, had had increased by more. Uh, this year, it's sort of the opposite. Um, so food at home. Let's click on it. So each one of these, I can click on, and it shows me what what. The details. Uh, so uh, the biggest one is meat, poultry, fish, and eggs. You've definitely seen that at the grocery store. Meat prices have been up significantly uh, throughout the whole the whole pandemic. Uh, some other things went up initially, but sort of have stabilized. So most of the other ones are pretty low, uh, around one two percent. Uh, but the specific one of meat is up is up a lot. Uh, Okay, going back here to food, food away from home. So that includes two types of bas two basic types of restaurants, full service and limited service. Uh, so it's basically like sit down dining uh, with table service uh, versus usually some type of order at the counter uh, or drive through or something. So the the limited service restaurant, the prices are up even more, uh, about seven percent it looks like. Um, but both both set are up uh, overall. Um, so that's that's per, that's a lot, and you probably noticed that. Uh, I, I personally have noticed that in my the places that I go, uh, I've seen markups on the menus. Um, even in, in some places, I've even seen uh, like just putting tape over a number so they can add a dollar to the to the menu without making you know without actually uh, creating a new one. Especially if it's like a taco truck or something that has a board, uh, then just kind of taping over a number to make that to make it go up. Um, so. Anyways, you've probably seen this in your normal, in your daily lives. Finally, let's go to all other items. Okay, so we have commodities, so that's gonna be stuff, uh, but the, besides food and energy, and then we have services. Let's go to commodities first. Uh, so the big one is new vehicles and even more so used cars and trucks. Used cars and trucks have gone crazy. So it became difficult to get new vehicles uh, and the prices for new vehicles started rising. This created more demand in the used vehicle market, it seems. Uh, 
also there's there's stories i don't know again they, some of this is too re, too new to know for sure uh like the research may not have been completed uh but there was also stories about it in cities where many people used to rely on public transportation because of worries about covid they're they're trying to switch to driving to work uh or using or driving more often and this also increased the demand for for used cars um so yeah the used cars have gone crazy uh I, my car is uh, i've been offered by the dealership where i bought it to them to buy it for more than I paid for it uh, but in the time that I I've had it for almost three years and in that time I've driven a lot uh, so I put on a lot of miles and, and they're still willing to buy it for more than I paid for originally so used, used car market has gone crazy uh, the new mar car market is also up significantly and there's also quite a few delays on key models uh, there's less choice about what you're gonna get um, tobacco and smoking is up uh, and apparel is up so um, so there's but they're relatively small compared to how big this used car market is and the final one was the services uh, so transportation services are up medical code shelter they're all up uh, don't when you're doing the visual comparison to the previous slides though notice the left hand side these are relatively small percentages um, so i'm kind of surprised that the shelter is not up more um, but i think it's my mainly because you're sort of averaging across so many different markets i know in some specific markets rents are way way up uh, in the place where i live rents are, are have gone way up over the last two years um, but i know there's other markets where rents uh, stayed stayed steady or even fell um, as people were moving out of those areas uh, so maybe that sort of balances it out in the overall numbers um, yeah I, I found this a little surprising when I looked on this so anyways uh, so that's the current situation with inflation uh, this was optional but it's something that I thought people would be interested in seeing and I left the previous one up there as well uh, just so you can kind of compare how things changed in a year's time